Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. All right, so I got up this morning like I normally do and did a three mile run. I try and do it every day, but I really I do it about four days a week. Um, I get a little lazy on the weekends, and uh, that's kind of my exercise. So, you know, on the starch solution, uh, you do want to exercise also on every diet. I mean, exercise just starts your day off, it makes you feel good, and it puts you in the right mindset to be successful for the day. So, this morning, I'm going to have uh, one of my favorite breakfasts. This is our Instapot Buckwheat. Now the video uh, that's linked above, that one is the non-starch solution one. There's a lot of nuts and seeds. It's a delicious, healthy breakfast, really good for you. The one I'm making today, that's the starch solution version. I'm taking out the, 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 the stuff that causes the fat. Buckwheat is amazing. It's similar to oatmeal or overnight oats, but it's not wheat, it's a seed. So <clears throat> it's gluten-free. So don't let the name buckwheat fool you. It's a gluten-free food. Buckwheat works really well if you prepare it the same way you do oatmeal, but it's much more firmer. It, it doesn't become mushy the way oatmeal does. I personally love it much more than oatmeal. I never eat oatmeal. If I'm gonna have like a porridge, I have the buckwheat. Here's how we did it. For the buckwheat, we started with one cup of dry buckwheat groats. Then we added one and three quarter cups of water, two pitted medjool dates chopped up, two fresh bananas sliced. We put on the cover and set to sealing position. We set the timer to manual high pressure cook for four minutes. When the four minutes was up, we did a quick release. Once the pressure indicator drops into the cover, you can open the lid. Once the lid was open, we added one cup of frozen blueberries, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of turmeric, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of maple syrup. Then we stirred to combine, and it was ready to serve. I sprinkled a little extra cinnamon on top. All right, guys, I'm ready to eat this. I am so hungry. You can see here I put an extra banana on top sliced up, sprinkled some more cinnamon on, and I'm ready to eat this. When I make the recipe in the Instant Pot, I put it into... Uh, little jars, little mason jars, and it makes four servings. So this is one of the four servings. Oh my gosh, so good. It's hot, but it's really good. I absolutely love buckwheat. Some days when I get back from exercising in the morning, I just want fruit, like something cold and wet. And fruit usually does it. And then there are some days where I just want a hot breakfast. So sometimes I will have fruit for breakfast, but a lot of times, this is my breakfast four days a week because I get four servings. All right, guys, I got to clean up, get changed. I have a busy day ahead of me. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I've worked up quite an appetite today. I'm ready for lunch. Here's what I'm having. For today's lunch, I started with cutting some air fried yellow potatoes into chunks, added some of my Instant Pot refried beans, drizzled on a little bit of cashew cheese sauce, chopped up some fresh chives from my windowsill, and paired it with some of my steamed seasoned broccoli. I sprinkled on a little salt and pepper for seasoning. I know I eat a lot of potatoes and broccoli, but I really feel like those are the meals that just fill me up. And anytime I can get refried beans in there, I take it. I do have the cashew cheese on it, but I've just got a small amount. All right, let's give this a taste. I already know it's delicious because I have it like three times a week, but mmm, so good. It's like potato nachos. It's delicious. Really, this would taste just as good in a burrito shell. And the broccoli, of course, there's a video right here that shows uh, how we make this. It's just uh, frozen broccoli from Costco, st uh, steamed, and then I put a bunch of seasonings in it, and that's it. All right, guys, sometimes I throw a plate like this together, and I eat the whole plate, and I'm like, what's next? I'm still hungry, right? And then, like, the next day, I'll throw the same plate together, I'll eat half it and go, oh, man, I can't eat another bite, and that happens. Someone asked me about this in the comments in one of the other videos. Here's what I do. I don't force myself to eat this, right? I eat what I can, and if I'm stuffed, I'm just gonna put a little uh, cover over it, throw it in the fridge, and leave it there, and in about two hours, if I don't eat this whole plate, in about two hours, I'm gonna be a little snacky again, right? I'll just pull this out and finish it then. Remember, it takes some time for your stomach uh, to, to tell your brain that you're full. So just eat what you can, put the rest in the fridge, and then pick at it later on uh, you know, while you're waiting for dinner or as a snack or whatever. All right, now normally I would go to the gym after this, right around 2.30, 3 o'clock today, um, but Greg's not going to the gym today, so I'm gonna work out at home, um, and I'll see you after that at dinner. <clears throat> All right, guys, it's been a long day and I'm hungry. Today for dinner I'm having one of my Yukon stuffed potatoes. You can find the video right here on how to make that, and I'm pairing it with 
Uh, another one of my favorites that I have not done a video for, and that is a Thai noodle salad. I absolutely love salad with noodles on it, and this salad kind of gives me a whole, like, complete feeling when I eat it, as if I've just eaten a full meal. Here's how we did the salad. For the dressing, I started with three quarters of a cup of low-fat powdered peanut butter. Then I added two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, the juice of half a lime, and just a touch of powdered ginger. Add some water a few tablespoons at a time and stir until you get the right consistency. Pour the dressing into a jar and store in the fridge till it's time to serve. For the salad, I cut up some romaine hearts the long way and then sliced it the short way. I put it in a colander and washed it real good. Then I added it to a serving bowl, topped with some of the beautiful dressing we made, added some shaved carrots, tossed in some cooked rice noodles, and sprinkled some chopped peanuts on top. Man, doesn't that salad look absolutely amazing? All right, guys, so I can't wait to try this. Get enough fun here with the noodles on it and the carrots. There we go. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Guys, this is so good. Really, I'm not a peanut butter fan overall, uh, especially the powdered peanut butter, right? I don't like it. Uh, but for whatever reason, the dressing, I just don't seem to mind it. It really works well. And I love that it doesn't have all that fat that peanut butter has, which makes it a starch solution approved option, right? You can leave the peanuts off. There's just a small amount. Um, but I absolutely love the, the texture and the crunch with it on. And let me give this here a shot here. I'm going to try one of these peppers. I mean, I ate so many of these. I already know what they taste like. But this is the last one from the video that I did last week. Mmm. So good. That mashed potato filling on the stuffed pepper recipe is absolutely delicious. I mean, that alone could be your Thanksgiving side. It's really good. All right, you may have noticed the new shirt I'm wearing. This is our Father's Day uh, shirt from the merch site. Um, number one vegan dad. It says my uh, cape is in the wash. Check out our merch site, etsy.com, plant-based ads, all one word, and up will come all of our merch. We've got hoodies, uh, sweatshirts, t-shirts, caps, mugs, all sorts of stuff. Something for everyone, including the shirt that I'm wearing. All right, guys, so that's our video today. A whole day of Start Solution. Meals, exercises, this is what I do in a day. Please, if you like this video, hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Click on the bell. And you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing on The Starch Solution. You know that if you left a comment saying, hey, I bought the book, I'm on The Starch Solution, I've commented back. I answer every one of those comments. I'm so excited that we're on this journey together. So I'm going to pat you on back. I want you to pat me on the back. We're going to do this together. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>